Let's look at some diode waveforms or circuits uh, with diodes in them that have waveforms injected into them with uh, voltage sources. This is four volts peak to peak with a zero offset. This means it goes up to two, goes down to minus two, and has a certain period. So this is one over 250 hertz, whatever that number is. Okay, so what we need to do, how you deal with a circuit like this, is you just take this at every single point in time and see what happens. Well, uh, the good news is, is once you get a few boundaries of when the diode switches between on and off, then uh, the rest of the waveform uh, is, is easy. Let's just start at zero. If uh, this voltage source is zero here on the left side, this uh, we can guess that this is off. Um, we'll just guess I'll do green. All right, so we'll guess off here. If this is off, the circuit looks like this. So off, redraw the circuit. And we'll get this, a resistor, and nothing. zero there so we can simulate this one kilo uh, ohm. so if this is off VA is equal to V1 uh, and that's it what we do need is we need to ensure that VA needs to be less than uh, VD on which we're gonna say is 0.6 uh, volts okay if VA gets larger than 0.6 volts then this diode turns on and we need to switch our guess uh, let's just draw the circuit for on it looks like this and here's the switch that's uh, on and a voltage source 0 0.6 volts VD on there we go V1 across that is V a. This solution is really easy because VA is simply equal to 0.6 volts if this diode is on. Remember when we have when this diode is on, current must flow that way. There's only one loop, so one current flows here. This will happen. Current will flow positive when this voltage across this resistor uh, V um, R is positive right so vr is greater than uh, zero means uh, the current is positive that's good the only way for vr to be positive is for v1 uh, to be v1 is greater than or equal to 0 0.6 volts okay so is it on or is it off we have to check well if uh, our voltage is zero volts if this is zero volts, we get VA is zero volts. Is that less than VD on? Yeah. So we are off. And uh, if this is 0 0.1 volts, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, it still remains off. So our waveform is going to trace up here until we hit one, two, three, four, five, two, four, six point six volts. This is a uh, point six volts here uh, on this plot. If we get larger than point six volts, uh, two, four, yeah, yeah, right there. This is a uh, zero point six volts. Then our uh, voltage across the resistor is going to be positive. We'll get a positive current. This VA, if we keep it off, will be like 0 0.7 volts. So we can't use uh, the off assumption. So we call the diode on. We switch to on. And uh, there we go. So on. During this condition, when, v, uh, when the diode is on, VA is 0.6 volts always. In fact, it's going to go all the way to this point here. Now V1 is less than 0.6 volts, which would make 
this current go negative. So this is say 0.4 and the right side is 0.6. So current would flow to the left, which is definitely not the way that current flows through a diode. So we have to switch our guess back to off. In fact, this will hold true all the way down here, all the way up two, four, six point six volts. It's like right there. And uh, there we go. This repeats. So after a cycle or two, it gets old to just uh, draw these. That's a uh, solution for no, uh, for A. So this would be B A. All right, so VB, take a look at that. I'm going to redraw my axes. This goes up to plus 2, minus 2, minus 1, 1. Let's use my awesome, awesome ruler. Okay. And here, two, here, here to here. Isn't this great? I like this ruler. It's my favorite. Back down again. Okay, that took forever. Here's my input. This is V2. And then our red is going to be VB. Voltage uh, for B. Let's look at our circuit B. It's this one right here. Same input, same everything, same resistor value. But now we have two diodes uh, back to back. So we have uh, on, 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 off off on and off off uh, we have four possibilities because there's two diodes each one could be uh, the other way I'm gonna say that uh, let's just let's just start at zero so this is zero uh, we'll guess that this is zero if both of these are off because look B circuit with this one covered up sure looks like the A circuit doesn't it so our guess last time was A or was off, off, and if B is a little bit positive, say 0.2 volts, definitely has to be less than uh, 0.6 volts. This is reverse bias. This one's going to be off the whole time. Okay, so I'm going to guess uh, on and off. If I redraw that circuit, I get. Uh, actually uh, this circuit okay and then uh, what could this be I, th I think that when this voltage goes negative that this diode's going to turn on this one's going to turn off so we're going to actually have this one actually I said off off sorry messed up all right papers all whacked off off looks like this when uh, we have on off our circuits gonna look like the left one is on and the right one is off there we go so we have off on this one is off this one, be careful, draw the circle, draw the circle and then you get your plus and minuses in the right way. Remember, this is voltage across the diode. So this is this way. And that's B, here's zero, node B, zero. Let's see what this looks like. When V2 is less than, 0.6. It's less than 0.6. This uh, current is going to go uh, negative. It's going to go the opposite of the arrow, which can't happen because that would mean current by KCL goes up, uh, up through this diode, which is the reverse way and not allowed. So when it's off, off, we're just going to go up to here, uh, this 0.6 
just like we had some of the all right just like we had before now when uh, the input voltage gets larger this left side of the resistor is higher than the right side this right side gets clamped to be 0.6 volts and then current just flows to the right and this resistor goes through here that's fine whatever the current is I don't need the number right now but I do know that V B is going to stay pegged at 0.6 volts it's going to happen until here and now we're we're done with this half cycle what happens when this goes negative well last time we had the diode was reverse bias the whole time uh, D1 was reverse bias the whole time this one D2 is going to be reverse biased because this will be a negative and this will be zero, which is a negative number, uh, negative voltage across this diode. But if B is negative and this is zero, this VD or VD3, I'll write that VD3 is going to be a positive number. Be careful. Zero minus a negative uh, voltage is a positive number but we need at least 0.6 volts across this to turn on this diode so we need to get negative by at least two four six before that circuit uh, turns on when it does we now have our off on condition and we have 0.6 volts here but be careful of the pluses and the minus b is now negative 0.6 current flows this way this is negative 0 0.6 volts and then this is less than that so current's going to flow to the left just be careful with your negative signs it's easy to get confused moral of this story uh, result of this is that that voltage at node b just gets pegged to minus six until the input comes up gets closer to zero and now we're going to turn off off here and uh, repeat four six to there and across I'm gonna label this that turns off now the diode is on diode turns off again for B this is off off this is uh, diode two and diode three. This one, diode one is on, or diode uh, two is on, diode three is off. At this point, they're both off again. At this point, diode two stays off, but the bottom one turns on, or the right one turns on. Which happens all the way till here you see how we're doing this we're just finding really we just want to find where these transition points are where something changes about our circuit now this is on and off 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 again and then this would be off The red is what you would see in a circuit simulator if you simulated this. The reality of this figure, it would really look soft, soft. These edges would not be uh, kinked right that right there, but they would be rounded off because uh, we were solving, we were not solving the exponential equation. All right, that was A and B. And uh, we'll stop the recording for now.